but just an easy spot. Alright, game one on Dreamland. Pretty standard stage. I like the dare grab because it covers shield. Is Kuna normally good against Tino or does Tino just body him? Occasionally. Oh, that game. <laughs> that was horrible. He's dead. But, oh, no. he doubted himself. Yeah. I don't blame him. Oh. It was very close. Oh. Yeah. So occasionally Kidder puts up a good fight. But he hasn't beaten him in a very long time. And uh, lately it, it just looks more and more one-sided to be honest. Yeah, a lot of the um, London Sheets don't do too well against Falco. Unless you're Barry Bones. Barry Bones is too bad, right? Yeah, he's definitely got the best records versus Falco out of a London Sheet. Um, Melks also like looks good at the time, but then like he hasn't beaten me or Tino ever. So. Lost the on, on paper, doesn't look very good at all. Um, Kid has got like an even, evenish record with me, so Tino is like the only Falco fawn inside. Although he used to hate Falco. Kid used to hate Falco so much that he, that he like couldn't deal with the combos. He he despised playing it. Like he'd rage quit and give up. Really? There was a tournament I won, like a courted, I won over Kidder, it's me and him in Grand. And I think I 3 0 him or 3 1 him, and he quit out of my tournament winning combo. Like, I was, I was about to double dip him, and he just paused, like, unplugged. I think he it's, was so mad at I think the only reason you have a right to be mad at is that Falco can, like, combo you from, like, a lot of different angles. Different angles, yeah, and you only, only really have one approach. And finding that approach on a Falco can be really hard, but your punish can be like devastating to a Falco. Yeah, and this is the thing. It was so clearly an issue of his own effort because now that he's like started taking melee more, like after New Wave, he started taking melee way more seriously. He's worked on so much things, like his recovery is ridiculously hard to build. Um, and ever since, he's not necessarily struggled with Falco, nor is he like. Had any like qualms with the matchup. Yeah. Hear that, fellas? If you're having trouble, just work on it. Well, what I would do is I go play Game Watch or something. Like, yeah. Unless you're brownie and you literally just don't care. <laughs> in, that, in that case, just play whatever fuck off character you want. Um, looking good from Tino. This stage, I think, like, it complements Tino a lot more than it complements Killer. Because Killer is, like, he's only really good off the tech chase. And. Uh, he just. He's a bit predictable on platform. He, like, he wants to get his needles and then chip away at you with the damage. But, like, yeah. so his, his positioning is more often than not predictable. Yeah, I mean, Cheek coming off a platform is always going to be predictable because. The only thing she can do is like try and bait that she's coming down. She can full hop away, or she comes down with an aerial. Like, <laughs> yeah. And and like you're you are like so limited in a lot of your options. It's like, and obviously there is a risk to challenging that, but alternatively you don't need to challenge it. And then yeah. You're, everything's good. She'll poke bear is going to take game one. Um, just like in that scenario. It's clear that Kidder is a bit slow on the patterns. Because he he got out of the up throw. Like, there was no follow up from the up throw. But then Tino got a shield drop, dropped down, poked him with a rising bear. So Kidder needs to make the adaptation and basically move off the platform quicker. It's like dancing. Yeah, it kind of is. Like, um. Got to move together, otherwise, nobody wins. Actually, the other person wins. You get out to get served. Yeah, 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 I mean, that's but that's when you're like they're playing the matchup. I feel like, but I do agree. Like in this matchup, you kind of have like to dance around each other because if if uh, you give Falco too much space, then you're not applying any pressure anymore, and that's how you get all your stuff. Oh, yeah. oh wow! He had the read, but that clearly was just like such a good firebird angle from Tino. It's good though, oh, I don't see the go for those uh, runoff orders. Prof's love. Prof's love actually fills the room. It is, uh, the acoustics are quite like generous, aren't they? Yeah, but I mean it's big, it's like a big um, hall. Yeah, like church, kind of. church, community hall. Yeah. Yeah. 
Eventually, Kiddo will fish with a dash attack, and then he can get the Shinar Shield. Doesn't grab the lead. Did he have time to? Um, he could have thrown needles at least to challenge it. But he just Up didn't really do anything. Baits out the get up attack. Oh, this oh. should be it. Fair enough. Yeah, I think Tino. That, that bear is good if you time it well and if they double jump. It covers a double jump and only a double jump. But the timing is pretty tight. So Tino is trying to get like the best time in and overextended a bit too much. That's why he died. Turn around laser. He should. Oh, the tournament winner's gonna. Wow. Yeah. That looked like an error, but it worked <laughs> out. I think he wanted to get up down tilt. I'm surprised he comboed from it, but yeah. it's probably just bad DI. Definitely bad DI on the time. But I think that's that's because Kidder was expected to down tilt. Yeah. Um, oh, the wave dash off there was like perfect for that scenario. Oh, this is. Oh, yeah. Tino's screaming. Do you think Tino could get second at this tournament? Uh. Realistically. Yeah, I do. He has Timmy and Frenzy in his way. No, uh, the thing is, he'll be in losers because he has to face Prof in. Oh, the yeah, he is. You're right, you're right. Which, um, maybe you honestly. Should, maybe you should lose the kidder right now. Yeah, he <laughs> might, he, his best move might be to lose the kidder. Because then he goes on the opposite side of bracket, I think, to face Bird Seeds. Yeah. That is unfortunate, but I think he can do it. Um, regardless. What, against Prof? No, like, I still think he could pull it off. Oh, it. yeah, in It's losers. just a shame that he, he doesn't get two chances, you know? Yeah. Yeah, he's just so good at predicting when Kidder's gonna move out of shield. Like, just hovering in front of him and then nearing, like, it was like frame perfect at the moment. Oh, that was unfortunate. Yeah. But Kidder, you need, when you're in that position of sheet.